training or what would be done with somebody who's incarcerated. I, I think it's fantastic stuff. And uh, if you were to talk to, th these things aren't new. Um, sometimes when we're put in certain circumstances, uh, if you really want to continue to train or in the situation of being incarcerated, it's almost a necessity to train because if you can't take care of business or you're weak and frail and cannot move correctly and handle yourself physically, uh, that could literally be a life-threatening situation. So uh, you are put in a situation that uh, absolutely forces you to get creative. Uh, there isn't a, you don't have a choice whether, to, uh, whether you're gonna do it or not, unless you wanna be cannon fodder. Um, so I don't think it's anything to, as far as jailhouse training is concerned, um, to learn these techniques, to get back to learning how to root in and connect with your body and realize that we really don't need anything outside this uh, gift of an organism that houses our spirit. I mean, uh, we have everything we need right here. Anything outside of that is just a luxury. But uh, a person can be brought to their knees purely with uh, body weight training. And uh, I've talked to anyone that's spent time behind bars that is, that is trained, um, they'll let you know that. Uh, no stone is unturned, and uh, it's a fantastic way to train, and I think it's...